Uh, as regards treatment of certain situations, like uh, thyrotoxicosis with pregnancy, actually, radioactive iodine is contraindicated. Surgery may induce abortion, and medical treatment may be teratogenic in certain conditions. How to solve this problem? Usually, we use the safest one of the medical treatment, especially propyl thyroacyl, it is the least teratogenic, and surgery may be, may be used but after the second trimester or late in pregnancy. Another situation, children, in children, thyrotoxicosis in children, actually, radioactive iodine is contraindicated and surgery may cause recurrence if you do uh, uh, subtotal thyroidectomy. So, we start the medical treatment, especially with propyl thyroacyl, till adolescence and surgery can be used. But nowadays and recently, in the American, American School of Treatment, radioactive iodine can be used safely in children, but with a higher dose to ablate the gland completely. This is a new trend in the USA, is to use radioactive iodine in children, but by a large ablative dose to ablate the follicles completely, so there is no risk of malignancy later on. And another situation in a cardiac patient or thyrocardiac disorder, of course, surgery here is hazardous. Surgery here is hazardous, and sometimes the medical treatment may be hazardous also. So in a cardiac patient, we prefer the radioactive iodine. Another situation is the exosalmos. How to deal with exosalmos? Number one, by the anti-thyroid treatment. Number two, by, by corticosteroid, especially prednisolone. And prednisolone will decrease the edema and decrease the condition. A, a, a special sleeping position with hip elevation, wearing dark glasses to avoid exposure keratitis, and using certain artificial tears to decrease the exposure keratitis. But sometimes we may use lateral tarsography to decrease the exposure keratitis and sometimes we use what we call orbital decompression operation to give a space for the excess tissue to decrease the uh, eye projection and to protect the eye so it may be difficult in treatment and um, speaking about the antithyroid drugs we may use the carbimazole and propyl thyroacyl we may use beta blockers like propranorol. We uh, may use Legol's iodine, but Legol's iodine usually gives an escape phenomena, so it is used shortly, within two weeks before surgery, to make the gland firmer and less vascular, especially used in Graves' disease. It is very useful in Graves' disease to prepare the patient, but take care just two weeks before operation otherwise failure will occur so if i plan the operation two weeks before operation we use the legal's iodine and lastly how to choose either subtotal thyroidectomy or total thyroidectomy actually total thyroidectomy will solve the problem will solve the problem it will apply the gland as a whole uh, but subtotal thyroidectomy may cause recurrence of the uh, toxicity, but the disadvantage of the total thyroidectomy, I will enter in a state of hypothyroidism, I will take thyroxine for life replacement. There may be increased danger of uh, parathyroid disorder, about 5% uh, patient may enter in a state of hypoparathyroidism, but in the subtotal thyroidectomy it is more safe as regards the parathyroid but the risk of recurrence may occur and recurrence of toxicity may occur that needs further ablation either by radioactive iodine or re-surgery later on and take care of thyroid crisis. How to avoid thyroid crisis that, and how to treat the thyroid crisis, this will be discussed in the operative task inshallah. And lastly, hoping you a much of success and the best of luck. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.